So this is A, this is B, let's say this C, this D, this is E, and this is F. From this point, let's draw it here. Triangle 1, triangle 2, triangle 3, and triangle 4. Okay, let's name the angles. Let this be angle 1, this be angle 2, this be angle 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Then this is 10, this is 11, and this is 12. Okay, now let's take triangle 1, that is triangle EFA or AEF, anything. Let's take this triangle AEF. Now, this triangle AEF, that is triangle 1, if you apply the sum of the internal angles of a triangle that is equal to 180 degree. So, angle 1 plus, angle 2 plus, angle 3, this is equal to 180 degrees. And then from triangle 2, that is triangle AED, triangle AED, you have angle 4 plus angle 5 plus angle 6 this is equal to 180 degrees then triangle ACD this is angle 7 plus angle 8 plus angle 9 and this is equal to 180 degrees and from triangle 4 that is triangle ABC That is triangle four. You have angle 10 plus angle 11 plus angle 12. This is equal to 180 degrees. Let this be equation one. This be equation two. This be equation three. This be equation four. Adding one plus two plus three plus for these equations together, add LHS together. So if you add LHS together, so this is equal to 180 degree plus 180 degree plus 180 degree plus 180 degree. That is 4 times 180 degree, that is 720 degrees. Right? Now, if we group together this angle 1 and angle 6 together, angle 1 and angle 6. So angle 1 plus angle 6. This will give you angle E, right? Then write this angle 2 as it is, that is angle 2. Then if you look here, 3 plus 4 plus 7 plus 10 is forming what? This complete angle, that is this complete angle, that is angle A, right? So group them together, 3, 4, 7 and 10. So angle 3 plus angle 4 plus angle 7 plus angle 10, right? Then Plus. Now you can group together this angle 5 and angle 9. So let's first underline it so that we don't get confused. This we are done with 1 and 6, we are done with 3, 4, 7, and 10. Now plus we group together this 5 and 9 because this will give you angle D. So angle 5 plus angle 9 angle 5 and angle 9 then plus this is then angle 8 and, and angle 12 so we are also done with this then angle 8 and angle 12 plus angle 8 and angle 12 this will give you this vertex C and plus then angle 11 that is that this is equal to 720 degrees. 
Now, angle 1 plus angle 6 is what? This angle, that is angle E plus what's angle 2? This is angle F plus 3 plus 4 plus 7 plus 10 is what? This angle A plus angle 5 plus angle 9 is what? Angle D plus angle 8 plus angle 12 is what? Angle C and then angle 11 is angle B. This is equal to 720 degrees. Let's rearrange it in an order. So angle A plus angle B plus angle C plus angle D plus angle E plus angle F. This is equal to 720 degrees. It means that the sum of the internal angles of a hexagon is equal to 720 degrees. Now this 720 degree can be seen as 4 times 180 degrees, right? What's this 180 degree? If you look at here, since we have formed 4 triangles, so this is 4 times 180 degree. For one triangle it is 180 degree, therefore for 4, 4 times 180 degree. Another way to look at this is, this 4 is actually what? 6 times 2 times 180, 6 minus 2 times 180 degrees, 6 minus 2 times 180 degrees. So if you look at this 6 minus 2 times 180 degree, this actually 6 is the number of sides of this polygon that is hexagon, in this case it is 6.